Hi everybody, this is Ellen. I have another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to make the um, newest little heart that I have on one loom. Um, it's pretty easy. I think the heart's pretty adorable so I wanted to share. Um, the normal one is on five pin bars and there is a tutorial out for that one but um, not everybody has more than one loom so um, I wanted to show how to make it. Um, there's a couple little differences that I did with some of these um, like this one is entirely single banded around and so is this one. Um, they're pretty adorable. They look good just single banded. They're still they're pretty thick so nice little charm. Um, and then we have like this one and this one. They are double banded around the outside and then single banded in the center. So they look pretty good too. That one is double banded around the outside as well couple of different options and then this one is entirely double banded so it's nice and very nice and thick um, looks pretty great too I think so but I'm just going to show the single banding of it um, that a bubble one it's uh, the banding when I do the single one everything is single banded except for like one band where I double it on um, any heart that I'm doing because it helps with um, kind of closing a space that um, is just created but I'll show you how to do this. We're actually going to lay out the bands for both halves of the heart to start with because it's just we have the room so why not. I don't got a band. So we're going to start by laying the outside perimeter of one half of the heart and I guess it will be pink. So we're going to start here. Um, it's a regular setup, it's really just offset pin bar, so I'm actually going to start up just a little bit so we're kind of working in between my blue bases that are that I don't get in the way a little bit. So one band straight up right here and then we're going to come around and kind of make a heart shape. So two to the left, two up, then go back to the right and up and then go back go right but come down like so. Then we're going to do some of the filler bands for this. some green. From this pin right here, we're going to come back to the corner and then come straight down. And then from this pin, we're going to come to the center here and then straight down. Like so. Then we're going to work our way up so this pin right here, we're going to come down to the side and then straight down. And then from this pin, kind of towards the center and then straight down again. And now for our last little section here. From this pin, we're going to go out to the corner and go straight up and then it's actually from this pin we'll come back to the center right here and then right here we're going to come down but this is the only place where we use um, two bands all the time. So obviously if you are doubling the whole thing you already will be using two bands but um, if you're single banding the majority of it this is always two bands. Put that down right there. So now we need to do some end caps for this half. We're going to put one on these three pins up here. Um, I usually use the perimeter color if you have a multicolored heart I guess so it hides. Um, but I do wrap it around three times for these two pins on the side and then right here will be four times around because we want that 
center to come in tight. So three times around. And then this one would be four again. If you're using super tight bands, if you can get three, that it should still be fine. So that's one half of the heart. So now we'll lay, just kind of go up a little bit, and we'll lay the other half. And I remember my colors here. So for laying, we laid the left side of the heart. So now we're going to lay the right side of the heart. So just start right here, I guess right above it. We're going to go two to the right, two up, one up and to the left, and then down and to the left. Like so. And now we're just going to lay the bands that are completing the other half of this. So it won't be quite as many. We're going to lay the other half of the center part here, so I'll band across here. Then from this pin we'll come down and then off to the right. And then from this pin we're going to come off and go to the right. And then from here, or from this pin, down and then to the right. And then the same thing from the middle pin to the center, one that goes down or up, I guess, however you look at it. And then we're going to go off to the corner here, like that. And then we just need end caps on these two pins. This one is already accounted for, for the other half. So triple capped on these two pins. So that's all the laying of the bands that we need to do. So now we're going to loom it out and we're going to go to the first half of the heart that we laid out first. So the one that has the bands going down, we want to do this one first. So starting in our end cap here, we're going to just go in there and it's going to be the two bands and you're just going to pull it back towards itself. I'm going to grab that bottom one band, pull it over here to the corner, then go in through the next end cap, pull that band back towards itself, and the same thing for this one. So then starting here, going through kind of the end cap we created here, grab that top band, pull it towards itself, the same thing with the other one. And over here to this end cap that we created. Just one band, pull it back towards itself. And the same thing for the other one. And again in the next one. like so. So that's all the inside banding. Now we're just going to do the perimeter. So back up here at the middle of the heart here. Just grab that band and bring it all the way around. And back to the point. Like so. I actually realized I put this in the wrong spot, but it's not totally necessary. We can still pull it through on the other end, so it should have been up here. You can actually put one there now. 
just put it under there like that all right so now we're going to do the um we need to move this up here um it's not too bad if you look we have an end cap we have a pretty open space right here and right here and then here's our only open point so I'm just going to take my hook and stick it through here, avoiding that band that I should not have dropped right there, and get that those bands on my hook. And then I'll just pull this off. So there's half of our heart. And you'll come up here, turn this a little bit, and the open part on your hook is going to go down here. like that. If you want, you can grab that band and put it in the right spot now. And now, I'm just going to stretch this, find that top end cap, and you're going to put it up here on this pin. And now we just need to replace the other bands here in the middle. So as you stretch this out, you can see that you have a nice little space here. That's what needs to go right here. And then next down, you have another little space. And that goes over this pin. So that's all the connecting that we have to do. It's not too bad at all. So now we can loom. So turn it back around. And we'll start from the side or the middle here and go over. We actually want to start right here. <laughs> start in this middle pin, pull it back towards itself, and go through the end caps here on the edge, pull those back towards themselves, and go in through here. Grab the band through here. Same thing for this one. So that's all the inside done. Now let's do the perimeter down to the point. like that. And then why I had this band here is that instead of trying to pull it through later after we've taken it off on our hook, I'm just going to grab it, pull it up, grab the bottom band, pull that up, pop that one off, and now I just made a slip knot. And then what I do, we're going to take this off a little bit this way. Helps to not distort the heart plus a little less wear and tear on your pins and your hook. And take your hook and pop this off. There's a pretty adorable heart that was pretty easy. Even with a transfer it was pretty easy. So. Lots of different options for how you want to band the outside, if you want to do the doubles or the triples, or or not triples, I didn't say triples. Um, you can triple it, I suppose, but um, I'd say more of the, the doubling is probably as far as you want to go for um, how many bands you want to try and really put on your loom. Um, I usually just take the, it's a little harder with the jelly bands because they kind of have a mind of their own, but um, I usually just take the tail of these, and since it's matching the perimeter color, I'll just take my hook, kind of weave in through the edge, grab that band, and pull it up through the edge. It kind of hides there. 
sticks much better when it's the regular bands, but the jelly bands look so cute, so can't resist. So I hope that you found that fairly easy to do. Sorry about that one band putting that in the wrong spot. I just get excited and ahead of myself, I guess. So, um, but I think this heart is adorable, and I'm going to do a couple more things with it in the near future. So I hope you like those as well. Um, thanks for watching, as always. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can see what I have coming up in store for you. And I will have some more tutorials for you soon. Um, thanks a lot again. It means a lot to me.